how we're related to Dagbayani, my sister Pat and I and our siblings Dom and Conching, uh, we carry the middle name of Agbayani. And my, our mom, Prisca, was the younger sister of Paolo. So they are siblings and so we got connected. You know, so we tried to maintain that relationship. So when we were in high school, we were studying, he would send, like I said, $20 a month. Yeah. And that helped us pay for our tuition. So we, we were kind of indebted to him for helping my mother send us to school back in the Philippines. Uncle Paulo and the farm workers, you know, for them to be able to survive in the harsh conditions in the farms, that tells us of their perseverance, their tolerance for hard work, their dedication for their families, and their um, interest to improve the conditions of their lives. You know, because working in the farm is not a joke, you know, and if you don't have any restroom to run to when nature calls, you know, there's another problem would have, you know. And the fact that there were no living quarters for them. I don't know how they survived. And I heard that then they weren't, they weren't allowed to marry other cultures. That's why there were many older gentlemen who had no families. And that's one of the reasons the right. village was established, to take care of the older gentlemen with no families to go home to. Later on down the line, I was hearing of Mr. Chavez's work, continued work as a labor union. And because of his efforts, the uh, farm workers got a better deal of within the agricultural industry. So because of that, he should really be uh, learned in, more, in history books, not only for American kids, but worldwide. So I hope that they the younger generations, like my grandchildren here. I hope you can tell your classmates when you go back to school that you came to visit your grandpa's legacy here. You got reconnected with him. And they went through a lot of hard stuff just to give comfort to the workers in the farms. Okay? So you should be proud of Lolo. <laughs>